Hello and welcome to the Mac Observer's YouTube channel. I'm Charlotte Henry. I have no doubt you want to make sure that you read Dr. Mac Bob Levitis's columns every week. But if you don't get the chance to do it the minute we publish them on the Mac Observer, you can save it to a reading list in Safari. Uh, here's how you do it on your Mac. When you're on the web page you want, for example, Bob's latest column in Safari, this is, you click on bookmarks and add to reading list. You can see there's also a keyboard shortcut there too, which is Shift, Command and D. Click that and it's now saved to your reading list. Now to access the reading list, you need to go to bookmarks and show bookmarks and click on this glasses icon and that brings up your reading list. Click on any article in your reading list to open it. You can also, while we're here, use this icon, the sidebar icon, to open and close it. And there's also a view and hide sidebar option in the view menu. Once you're finished with an article in your reading list, you can mark it as read by, again, opening up the list and two finger swiping right. You can see the mark as read option. If you swipe left across the title, you get a save offline option, which obviously allows you to read the article offline, or remove, which takes it out of the reading list completely. You can also get all these options up by right clicking. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please comment and share and do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Mac, iPad and iPhone tips.